welcome to a Christmas special episode of A Lifetime with me, Barney. Merry Christmas to you all. Um, are you looking forward to Christmas? Put your hand up if you're looking forward to Christmas. Whoa, 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 I see a sea of hands, that's brilliant. I'm really looking forward to Christmas too. Um, now, today we're going to start off with a game. Here goes. Good morning, everyone. Hello, so welcome to today's game. Now today's game is going to be of like a, a Santa, a Santa kind of Santa beard game, isn't it Malachi? Yeah, now what's going to happen is I'm going to cover my face with shaving foam Lovely. and Malachi here is going to be throwing what's it at my beard and he's got 30 seconds, how many seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds to see how many what's it's will stick to my beard. Okay, now how about you have a guess in your classrooms just now, how many what's-its do you think will stick to my beard? Okay, so teachers, why don't you ask the children just now? Go. Okay, you got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Are you steady? It's about to drop. Go, go, go! Oh, nearly! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some more on. One! Keep going, keep going! You're not hitting my beard, you just get my beard. There we are, I like that. Yeah, that's yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah, like that. Quick. Oh. Okay, so in total, we managed to count four. Did you get that right? Mm, that's brilliant. Well done. How did you do that game? Did you guess the right number of what sits to my beard? <laughs> anyway, let's see. Now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Christmas? Whoa, whoa, not all at once. Hold on, hold on a second. Yeah, do you know what? I'm the same. I love Christmas time. I absolutely adore it. I love the presents. I love giving presents. I love spending time with family. I love all the yummy food and chocolate that you get on Christmas Day and putting up Christmas decorations and the Christmas tree. But there is one thing in the Christian faith that we need to be truly grateful for, without which the whole of Christmas as we know it would not exist. That is, of course, the birth of Jesus. But did you know that the birth of Jesus Christ is so important that most of the world based their historical timeline around it? Here is Professor Frederick Humbledink to tell us more. Yes, that's right, Barney, thank you. So the historical calendar, as we know it, records any dates in history before the birth of Jesus as BC, before Christ. And anything after the birth of Jesus is AD, which actually stands for Anno Domini, and that is Latin for the Year of Our Lord. Okay, thank you, Professor Humperdinck. That is interesting, isn't it? So at the moment, we're in year 2020. So that means we must be 2020 years after the birth of Jesus. But why? Why is the birth of Jesus seen as so important? I tell you what, here's some little friends of mine to tell us some more. <laughs> Hello children, how wonderful to see you all. I would like you to listen carefully as I tell you a story all about a king. Over this way, oh, oh, no, oh, over here, oh, no, oh, everyone, oh, and over here, oh, you blinking star. Oh, ooh, hello, uh, yes, I'm king. Is this story about me? No, 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 the king in our story is yet to be born. Oh, really? But how is that so? His coming has been written out for hundreds of years. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh, yes, yes, the Messiah. His name shall be King of Kings, Lord of Lords, as written in the Book of Messiah. Um, you are a clever donkey, aren't you? I've got a funny feeling that this big bright light up here is trying to direct me to his birth. Well, if only I could follow him, though, I tell you. Oh. 
Mr. Wiseman! Mr. Wiseman! Oh, oh, would you look at that? An angel! I've just been trying to catch up with you for ages! Oh, finally, he's noticed me. What do you mean, I've noticed you? What do you mean? I've been flashing around up in the sky for ages, trying to get your attention, literally going, It's over here! It's over here! To be honest, I've given up trying, so I've come down here to get you. Did you bring the presents? Yes, yes I did. Hold on. Perfume? Armani King? No, do, do not mistake me as a conjurer of cheap gifts. It's um, frankincense spy, tap it off. Oh, very good. Um, let's go, shall we? This way. Okay, dum -de dum -de dum -de dum Anyway, as I was saying, this story is all about a king. And I am a king, is a story about me? No, this story is not about you either. Oh, I say, you haven't seen a big bright object in the sky, have you? It was just up there, and I was following it really carefully, and then it just disappeared. Well, funnily enough, I did just meet someone looking for a bright light, and then this angel appeared, and they went off together to look for someone. To look for a king? Do you know what? I think you're right. They are looking for the king. Not just any king, though. You won't find this king dressed in robes and in a crown. Um, which way did they go? Um, they went that way. Great! Uh, well, best be off then. Get ready. Ooh, ooh, for tonight. He's going to make it a night to remember. Lovely singing. Very nice indeed. A king is to be born on this special day. They shall call him Prince of Peace. He will bring sight to the eyes of the blind. Let the ears of the deaf hear and the legs of the lame walk. He is a king, yet he will be born into a humble family. He won't be rich in money, but rich in love. His kingdom is in heaven, yet he will be born like one of us. This is Christ our King. Hey, hey, yeah, donkey, yeah, great speech there, mate. Uh, you certainly know your Bible scriptures, don't you, mate? What brings you around these parts, shepherd boy? I've not seen you since the last show on the sheep movie yeah. premiere. Well, uh, whilst I was watching my flock this night, all seated comfortably on the ground, and what I could only describe as an angel of the Lord came down, and glory shone around. Wow! Yes! How did you know? I've heard the carol. I was terrified at first, and then this voice just said, Do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy. That will be for all people. Uh, today a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. And here I am! I've, uh, I've come to investigate that barn over there. There seems to be a, a, a bit of a, a gathering. Uh, oh well, uh, farewell to you, donkey! Yeah, uh, farewell, Mr. Shepherd. Farewell. Cool, well, it's, uh, it's all getting very exciting around here, isn't it, children? Perhaps I should head back over soon. Wait for me! <laughs> Wait for me, Master! <laughs> Wait for me! Oh dear! <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Donkey. I've lost my um, my master. I'm looking for my shepherd. Have you seen him? Well, actually, yes, I have. But are you not looking for a king? Oh yes, I remember now. That's where he said he was taking our flock. Uh, did you see him? Which way did he go? I believe he's gone that way. Great! Oh, oh brilliant. Thanks, Mr. Donkey. Uh, but uh, how do you know all of this? Us animals aren't meant to know that much. Well, Mr. Sheep? Oh, you could call me Boris. Oh, uh, sorry, Boris. I was the donkey who took his parents, Mary and Joseph, 
all the way to Bethlehem. They were telling me all about their unborn son, the king, on the way here. Wow! You carried Mary and Joseph? Yes, yes, um, she was heavier than she looked. This truly is a special day. I wish I knew the parents like you do. <laughs> what chance do I have of getting close to a king, eh? I'm just a mangy old, poor, sad, lonely sheep. Oh, there, there, Mr. Sheep. Oh, come on, Boris. You can. This king is different. He loves everyone and was born to give us a new hope in this sad world. He will want to be your friend, too. Wow, I've never had a king as a friend before. It's a boy! Oh, it's a boy! Oh, love, it's a boy! I shall name him Jesus. So there we have it. And that was the story kind of of the nativity told through the eyes of the donkey in that play. Now, in the story, we see that the characters in the play were looking for a king, weren't they? But not a king as we might think of today. This king was not wearing a fancy robe, a golden crown and some nice bling on his fingers. No, he was completely the opposite. Jesus was born and brought up in a very humble family. They didn't have much money. This was not a king who had any servants. And in fact, if anything, it was the opposite. He, he came to this earth to serve. And this actually came as a bit of a surprise to the people of the time. Because for ages, for years, they'd been expecting the coming king, the Messiah, who would appear to them. And they weren't expecting it to be Jesus of Nazareth. And now the sad sheep at the end of our play, um, he was a bit upset, wasn't he? Because he didn't think he was important enough to be associated with the newborn king. But actually, as Christians, we believe that Jesus wants to be our friend. And he wants us to get to know him more, too. How cool is that? OK, let's just finish with a prayer, shall we? If you'd like to put your hands together and close your eyes, you can say Amen at the end if you agree with what I've prayed. Lord, I want to thank you for Christmas. I thank you for the, the joy and the fun and the laughter that we can have in our family homes this year. We think of all the lovely food and all the presents that we'll be opening. But Lord, we do want to remember your son Jesus who came to this earth more than 2,000 years ago and how important that day was. It's the reason we celebrate Christmas today, Lord. Father, help us to remember those who are needy, those who are lonely, those who are without this year. May we think of those and pray for them too. In your precious name, Lord. Amen. Well, thanks again for joining me today. It's been really lovely to see you guys. And I think that just leaves me to say um, a, a very big Merry Christmas to you. And I hope you have a lovely time with your family. And, well, what's going on here? Huh? What? Hey, hey, get off me! Hey. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. Get out of the camera. Go away. What are you doing?